All right, so we've got an IK going on here. We got controls. Control. We can control the wrist as we move it around. It also moves the lower part of the arm there. You'll notice sometimes it won't change. That's just because it's it's not set. We just click on something and then it'll change. It has to do with priorities. Huh. So you can change it how you'd like to. <coughs> so you'll see I've stuck some bones in the tail. I just did that by copying and pasting these inside of one another and then renaming them. So I did that, but you'll notice though, I select them all, and we look at their bounding boxes, they're kind of strange. This is where that align tool comes in. We go to commands, we go to align, and there we go. Nice and neatly lined up. So now what we're going to do is use a spline IK. <coughs> Now we could just stick in a spline here, but it'd be easier, much much easier to just take a select few of these guys. You can have more for more definition, but we're going to use the con one of the conversions here, and these are fairly self-explanatory. You can convert an object to joints, and generally it just converts the center of the object to a joint and the center of a selection to a joint or joints to objects and convert uh, convert things to nulls can convert joints um, yeah joints to spline is what we want or you can convert a spline to joints so there's quite a few different things you can do well, this will convert your yeah this will convert your joints to nulls all right, joints to spline. <clears throat> so we it made us a spline here. If we go into points mode, we can see our spline. Let's move it out so we can see it. Notice it put the bounding box down there. I think that's kind of annoying. Okay, notice it took more or less the whole chain. Uh, didn't realize it would do that. We don't want the whole chain though, so we can we can delete these. What we probably want to do, I <coughs> notice when I shifted this, I quantized it by holding down shift. Oh no, I didn't. How non good. That's non good. Okay. Do quantize this. Click and then hold down on shift. We don't want that much definition. We're going to copy this spline. Delete the points we probably don't want. Probably all these points. Probably all these points, <clears throat> but we still want some definition. So we're going to take this and turn it to a Bezier curve. Now again, to control this, you'll try to click there and undo anything we need. Moving tool, we need it in the right view here. There we go. So we're just kind of lining up those guys, and you'll notice that these also have curves. We don't want those to have curves though. So move that to hard. So adjust these accordingly. They don't have to be equal, but they can. Alright, and so we've got a spline. We first converted the joints to a spline, and then we took a copy of that spline and made our own spline. We're gonna move that back into place. Delete the spline. Alright, let's just name that tail. <coughs> Stick it in our controls. Now we want a spline controller. If we go to character tags, it's the third one down. I know you can't see it. An IK spline. So this is going to end at the tail end. Wait. There we go. This is where it's going to end. This is the spline. Actually, let's take this and let's not enable it at the moment. Let's take the tail spline, stick that in there. 
So now we have our spline, we have our our end <coughs> and handles. This is what we really want. We can we can use this as is. We can just kind of control the spline and control the points. Like I'm gonna save this file and I'm going to enable this. Alrighty, that's not quite what we that's not quite what we wanted there. Let's see here. Okay, I see the problem. I had to pause it there. We started from the spine. Or the spine. We need to should have started from tail zero. So let's change that. Let's change the rotation back on this guy here. Everything. Change it back. Make the way it was. Let's see if that was the way it was. Go to our tag and set bind pose. Nope, not quite. So it's a little off. Oh, I see it. There we go. Set bind pose. Oh, yep, that's close enough. Alright, so we started from there, and that's why it went crazy. We need to start it from tail one. This is dependent on where you have your tag at. So we have our tag on tail one now. Now we'll notice if we take our spline, we select a point, and we can move it around. Notice the tail is not moving. That's because the tail has not been weighted yet. So I'm going to do that right quick. Joints. There we go gonna stick all these guys into here <clears throat> then I'm gonna add weight to them and I'm gonna pause this tutorial so I can do that okay so I got the weights on the tail now if I go to the spline tail spline I can select the points and I can start moving the tail around I can also move the bezier points here that's uh that's all right that still isn't exactly what we want. You know, sometimes things will mess up a little bit here. You can go to that joint and fix it. Sometimes strange things happen. I'm not sure why, but they do. Alright, so let's add some controls on that tail. It's easy enough to do. We go to handles on the IK spline we can add handles we can keep adding it and next zero one two so that's how many points we have on the spline we have three points but we probably don't care for this one here oh, so we can remove this first one. actually we can just change this there we go now they need to be tied to objects so if we go oops to create we'll create one for each one so there they are and just once again you can control how, what they look like how big they are <coughs> there, there we go so we'll probably do the same thing you would with the wrist here but I'm running out of time so you, you should you probably get the gist here you can start controlling them now as you would so you don't have to select the spline and the points on the spline to move things around so that's how how you would also probably build the spine so there it is <laughs>